so if you have questions, just let me know. I'll type in, we'll type back and forth. I have a fairly intense pain that has settled in the back spleen. Um, check area with um, kind of a weird shifting, sharp stabbing pain pattern. Um, it hurts to roll to the side in bed, yet I'm fine to lie on my back or to pick up my feet walking. Um, or to pick up my feet walking, um, it throbs or I cough or when I sit up and I get out of bed. It's not a consistent pain spot. It started just last week um, after my sister's visit um, and then when I had gotten and it's gotten worse over time. Not quite disabling, but I'm yeah, but it's un it's uncomfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just look. I suspect some cords. Yeah, there's cords to the spleen. I'm 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 curious. I yeah, so I hear that it's a private thing, but like, um, um, oh, um, <laughs> it, it is is that the bit? Sorry, I thought I was on. Yes, yes. I mean, I keep yelping. I, and, I, I, I recognize that laugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> was she going through a hard time or like a health issue or emotional thing or something like that? She's going through a real hard time. Um, she's she's she tells me that she's good, but we both know that she's really not good. And she she did not like the smell of Melissa, which I thought was not a good sign. And we're having to do all kinds of, she's being, she's being incredibly gentle with a business, me, the business ignoramus, and, and I, for which I'm really grateful, but I think it, it's really hard on her to not yell at me about, you know, what do you mean you haven't done X, Y, Z? We talked about it six weeks ago and it's like, oh. Yeah, you, you look like you have some cords, like I'm gonna cut them right now and let's just see if that changes it. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels uh, a little better, but it's still one of those. It's it, it hits me. At, um, I just I'm thinking of it as the Lord teaching me to appreciate other people's pain and in terms of back pain. And so it's like, oh, yeah, more compassion. I will have much more compassion in the future. You're always funny about stuff. <laughs> but it seems to come and go and yeah. it's fine Let's, to walk. But it does like pressure. It definitely likes to have me put a keep a pressure point on it, right under those right under the ribs there, three quarters of the way around the back. Yeah. Um do you have a third cords or iron bark eucalyptus? I do have a third cord, a oh, bunch yeah. of it. And both, yeah. yes, I have both a bunch. Use the third cords, inhale it a bunch, and think of your sister as you're inhaling it. Oh, I will be happy to do that. Yeah. yeah. Any, any anything with the rue or anything? I, I think you just need yeah. to clean things up. Like it, okay. it, you know, the the negative things I just cut, but a lot of times what happens is the positive cords. You know, it is a sibling. You are family. You are connected, and sometimes those positive cords just get really super contaminated. Not with your stuff, but with her stuff. And so it will eventually physicalize into your body. And so this is a way to kind of go through and clean it up. Yeah, it's definitely. OK, great. Thank you. And uh, looking. Thank you for being in Bir Birmingham next week. We're looking yeah, for a few, few more days. Yeah, we're in our process of getting there. <laughs>